Hey, welcome to a fresh video on the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. We've got an update. We are continuing on with the conversation surrounding Matthew Kennedy. There was, I don't know if explosive is the word, but there were claims made that the exit interview happened and he was told that he might be best served to look elsewhere for the opportunities that he's looking for. Thankfully, we were able to get an update via his manager. Matt Kennedy at Carlton, got one year remaining on that deal, but came out of his exit interview having been told that he was free to explore his options if he wanted to. Talk to us about his situation and what you see eventuating there. Yeah, and that was a really honest chat. Like I think a few um, clubs that I've spoken to assumed it was because of he got subbed off, you know, and he had a pretty big week, Matty. He was in hospital himself at the start of the week, sick, then 48 hour labor for the birth of his first child, um, young Theo, and then flew up and got subbed off. So it was a lot of emotions I think came out, but it wasn't just that. We've had honest chats with Matty and the club right throughout the year. Um, he sees himself as an inside mid. Um, he's really happy at Carlton and will happily stay there. And I think that's the likely scenario, but the club just had an honest chat saying, mate, if you had an opportunity where, and it'd be a club in Victoria um, with a young family um, that had a role for you and you thought that was what you wanted to do, then go for it. So Matt hasn't said, mate, I want out or anything like that. But you know, if there was, so I'm not out there canvassing every single club around, but if something came, then we'd have an honest chat with the club and I think they'd be open to it. So there you go, really good to get some context as to the reports. The reports weren't wrong, they just needed some context. So ultimately we're talking about a guy that wants to play in his preferred position and that is inside mid. Um, the club obviously have held the line that they see him as a half forward. Um, we know based off what he did this year, he's very versatile and I think every player has their preferred position. So a lot of that makes sense. And then I guess the question goes to is he gonna get that opportunity as an inside midfielder? You would guess not. You would guess the first choice would that he won't get that opportunity on a consistent basis. So that's where the opportunity presents itself for him to find that role and to find those minutes at another football club. And I think of Will Setterfield in a very similar light, who really is an inside mid. We developed him, we kind of started him there as an inside mid. 2020, I thought he, he came on and played that role for us. And then he moved out to the wing. And before you know it, he's at the Essendon Football Club playing in his preferred position and and away he went. So I guess that's the question. Is, is Matt Kennedy gonna end up going to another club to play those inside midfield minutes? Or will he stay at the Carlton Football Club, play the role that the club sees him playing his best football and you know go from there? When I think of Matt Kennedy and the best games that he played for us this year, as a midfielder or predominantly as a midfielder. The first one that comes to mind is Geelong, round 15. So in this game, he actually had 31 possessions, four marks, six tackles and a goal. He did follow that up with a game against the Richmond Football Club the week after, but I think that Geelong game was a real big one. Hawkins, turnover, Kennedy. players here, Tommy De Koning, one of them. <laughs> Kennedy busy early. Clever to Williams. This time Sam jumps in, but Walsh brings it away. Kennedy. Chincotta's been punch his way through. Blitzarves taken. Duncan pursued by Owies. Owies was careful not to give away the three. It's interesting how he's coping with that defense. Superb. Really difficult ball to handle. Newman. Everywhere you look, they just got bigger bodies. Pop up and that might be 50. For an important early strike here for the Blues. And he has got it. He played through the midfield, but as you said, he can push forward and kick a goal. What a night. It's amazing. It's great to see Kennedy. Culminated that day, as we know, as Kennedy away. And also earlier in the season, the first GWS game, the one that we played at Marvel. So the one that we played at Marvel, yeah, the 27 possessions, kicked a goal, six marks. Tries to back in the middle to Koning this time against Briggs and Cripps. <laughs> Cottrell's done it again, a handy goal. He's kicked six. McLaurin, Cripps, Acres, low little reflex, handballs, dangerous kick, Cowan. Well controlled by Kennedy, very well controlled. It's combat. 
and it's good stuff, and Carlton win it back. Tremendous contest, Daniels, edges the kick, Green and Kennedy more than a match in the air. Just put that, that three centre bounce goal quarter for Carlton into perspective. The last nine. The forwards hold, Alir got there that time before Mackay. Now Kennedy knew what was coming out. Start kick from Akers, just had enough depth on it. Kennedy doesn't mark, but he's able to handball back quickly. Down Hewitt onto the left. Up to meet it, Kennedy. Is Durden. Kennedy again, having a big second term. Akers popping and hoping. Takes it wide, still in dispute. Thomas gets bullied. Well done, Kennedy. Came out with footy in hand. Found away. Tom Green. They come again, and Kennedy is there. All over Thomas. Whitfield to Bedford. In a rush, it comes. It could have gone anywhere. Now, well judged from Kennedy. He's grown in stature today as well. Kennedy. The crowd are roaring here at Marvel. It's not what transpires. Almost thrown out that time from off to Carroll to Kennedy, who's enjoying his 100th game. All the moves. The little fella, but can't get through. Knocked away Young. They'll come again, but maybe that's the moment they'll live the regret. Not sure he's ever kicked a goal quite like that before. He shoots, he scores. And I guess the other one was... Hawthorne, which is a forgettable day for obvious reasons. But those are the three games that I think of this year, and there probably are more. I just haven't thought of them off the top of my head, where I looked at his game and I thought, okay, that was him playing predominantly in the midfield. Now, the reality is we always seem to get into this position with Kennedy, where we play games, he plays well in the midfield in spurts, and then that just doesn't continue on, you know, Week after week, there is a little bit of a dip in output and then we're very quick to judge and say that the midfield's too one-paced and Cripps and Hewitt and Walsh and Chera can't all coexist in the same midfield because it's just a little bit too slow. So I do notice the cycle happening a lot with Kennedy. Not that it's his fault, but I just, I've noticed the conversation be like this since 2022, to be honest with you. So I guess that's where it sits. He's not definitely leaving he's happy to stay which is good to hear from his manager given the way things ended in that elimination final and you know there is a reference to you know the emotions that he would be feeling uh, after that it was a highly emotional week and you know soured by a bad loss and then being subbed out and and all of that i don't buy too much into oh paul kennedy oh he got subbed out you know like he's a required player this is the nature of the beast was it the right sub choice i don't think it was but if that's going to be the be-all and end-all of him wanting to be at the club and not, then I would question his character. But I don't question his character. And I don't think that that one isolated sub is going to be the difference between him staying and going. I think he wants to be around and I think he's a fighter and I think he's someone that doesn't give up when things don't go his way. And, and that's been the story of him. You know, he's been at the club for a while. There were question marks around his pace and around his burst early on and his fitness. He seems to have worked on all of those things. He's not a quick player, but he is a powerful player and he is a versatile player. So that's where it sits right now. There's your latest update. Stay tuned for more as it becomes available.